All right, guys, we are ready today for two-step equations. So today is two-step equations, so we're going to do two different pieces of work in order to get the variable by itself. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to get variables on the left. So variables on the left. All right, the second thing we're going to do is we are going to put constants on the right. Constants mean a number without a variable. So actually we do this in one step, so that's why it's called a two-step equation. And then third step, we are going to combine and divide. Combine and divide. So we are going to solve some equations. We'll do some examples together, and then you guys will take some notes, and then you will have some practice problems to try. So here we go. Um, first example today is 3x plus 4 equals mm, 16. All right, so just like we did on our last lesson, that equal sign is a dividing part. So the first thing we want to do is we want to put variables on the left, constants on the right. So the variable is a letter. So the 3x is on the left. That's in a good spot. Now this positive 4, we actually want to move it over. So if we want to move it over, just like we did the other day, we're going to make it a negative 4. And then we write what's left. So if we move this over, we just have 3x equals... Now, on the other side, it's 16 minus 4, which is 12. And so then we have 3x equals 12. And if you remember from Monday, our next step is to divide both sides by 3 because if it's attached, we divide. And then we can divide and we get 12 divided by 3 and a solution of 4. A solution of 4. So the first thing we're going to do is if it is a constant, a constant is a number without a variable, so I'm just reviewing this. We move a constant, which is that 4, over to the other side. And if you can see here, we change signs, and then we combine and divide. Combine and divide. So there we go. That's what we did here. And then here we combine So we move our term over, combine and divide, and then we get our solution, x equals 4. All right, let's try another one. Number of boards. All right, so let's see. Apparently I can only have 10 boards, so guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to delete some boards. Sorry about that. This is a new... This is new for me. Okay, so let's try another one. All right, so we've done that. All right, here we go. Example B, uh, let's go with negative 7 minus 4x equals 21. All right, so on this one, we, our equal sign is still the barrier. Okay, the term with the variable, the term with the letter is negative 4x. We like it here. That's good. But what we don't like on the left-hand side is a number without a variable. We don't like that negative 7. So in order to move it over, we make it a positive 7. So our next step, we combine and divide. So we're going to combine those two together. 21 plus 7 gives me 28. And then my last step is to divide. This time the number that's attached to x is negative 4, so I want to divide negative 4 over, and then we're going to follow our rules. A positive 28 divided by a negative 4 is a negative 7. And there you have it. So we moved the constant, which again, constant goes over, negative becomes a positive, then we combine and divide. All right, let's try a couple more for today. All right, so the next one, let's go with 6x 
plus one equals negative five. All right, so we got a barrier. All right, we like variables on the left. That's good, but we don't like a, ne a positive one over here. If I want to move it over, I make it a negative one. If it changes sides, it changes signs. And then we can combine a negative five and a negative one would combine to be negative six. And then our last step, I don't like to write with that color, is to divide by six. And we follow our division rules. Negative six divided by six gives us one. And there we have it. We have a two-step equation and we solved it. Um, I know that there's probably other ways that you've been shown your work. If you use photo math, guess what? It's not going to show you your work this way. However, it's going to be more efficient, especially when we have more numbers and more variables and we add distributive property. This is going to be a way to keep track of your work much, much simpler. And I highly encourage you to use this because it is going to make you an equation wizard. Now, I want you guys to try one by yourself. So when I write the original, I want you to hit pause. I want you to work it out by yourself. And then when you're finished with it, hit play. Check your answers. If you make a mistake, I want you to erase it and fix it. So this is the one I want you to try by yourself. Six, negative six minus four P equals All right, so at this point, hit pause, start working. All right, and for the solution, hopefully you've hit play by now. All right, the negative 4P is good. The negative 6 is not. Let's move it over, make it a positive 6. And that would leave you with negative 4P. 10 plus 6 is 16. And then we divide by negative 4 on both sides. And we get P equals a positive divided by a negative would give us a negative 4. I hope you did well. So same thing. There will be assignments attached to the home page. Make sure that you follow those links and do the due dates. They, I am expecting you to do all assignments in Cami. Please show your work. You cannot just write an answer. Please show your work. And if you have questions about this assignment whatsoever, reach out to me. I promise I'm waiting on you. All right, you guys have a great day, and I will hear from you soon.